Howdy. My name is Herb and welcome to my workshop. Uh, this week we're going to show uh, making a valve for the uh, 15cc engine. Uh, we're going to do the tappets and then we're going to show an overall view of the, uh, what we've done so far. So uh, got a little machining in this video. Thanks for watching. Here we're uh, turning the uh, stem of the, the valve down to, to uh, 0.125 or 1 eighth of an inch. Uh, this is uh, uh, 01 tool steel that I'm uh, making the valves out of. Here we're parting off the valve and uh, <clears throat> getting ready to uh, apply the uh, 45 uh, degree angle on the back side of the, the valve stem. Okay, we're going to put the uh, 45 degree taper on the back side of the, the uh, valve here. Should be it right there. Slide down a little bit more. Let's check the tool height on that thing, just in case.
it. Hot. <laughs> there it is. I got a little bit to grind off there, but uh, that's the uh, that's the valve. I'll polish up the thing. I left a little extra for that. And you cut it to length. Howdy, it's Herb again. I uh, wanted to show the the parts here for for the valve uh, uh, stream. This is a the valve, of course. The diameter is one eighth inch. The diameter on this is one eighth inch. It's been reamed, and we have a little spring. The the spring top. Uh, keeper for uh, it's a little e -kip clip that fits on the end of the the uh, valve and this is the tappet so all that of course goes in the head and uh, provides the uh, valve action and there's uh, two sets of these so this is the first set. Uh, I've actually finished all the parts for for the second set, so that's the uh, that's the layout there. I thought I might discuss this uh, tappet. Uh, it's made out of tool steel, and uh, apparently this stuff was was hardened because it was a bare the machine but uh, uh, I don't think it was hardened all the way anyway it was tough uh, this thing is uh, 10 millimeters long and the hole is 9 millimeters deep I cut that with a 5 16 uh, uh, end mill uh, chucked up in the uh, drill chuck on the lathe and uh, of course, you just have the pressure in, in this direction, so drill chuck was fine for that. Uh, and then I parted it off, but uh, I turned, turned it to size first, then drilled the, uh, uh, the hole, and then cut it off to length. And uh, it uh, is designed just to fit in the top of the, uh, that was a little tight, uh, in the top of the uh, uh, cylinder head. So that that's what uh, the cam will, will bear against. It needs to be trimmed up just a little bit. It's a, a little bit uh, rough still, so I'll polish it. But uh, it, uh, it's, it's, pretty well there but that's the way the tappet fits in there so and it'll uh, when the cam comes down it'll depress the tappet open the valve and the spring should return it back to uh, back to normal so uh, that's it for the tappets howdy it's Herb again I wanted to show the uh, progress on the little uh, 15cc engine. Uh, this week uh, I built the uh, ignition uh, uh, portion of the of the uh, uh, camshaft and basically what it is there's a disc in here that has a little uh, quarter inch uh, by eighth inch uh, round uh, neodymium uh, uh, magnet and then this uh, portion on top is stationary and there's a place here to epoxy uh, in a uh, Hall effect transistor uh, if you can see that little hole there but the uh, uh, as the shaft turns I'll pull this out uh, as the shaft turns, that magnet goes by the Hall effect. What I haven't done is I don't have the cam 
lobes in here yet. Uh, that's uh, next on the agenda. But we've got uh, all the uh, uh, all of the uh, pulleys situated. Also, I made this. Uh, it's called a tensioner, and it'll uh, hold tension on the belt. Uh, and so you can adjust the tension on it and that's uh, screwed into the crankcase and and there's a little 3 16 rod which this uh, pulley rides on. Put the sides on uh, so that's done and um, I think when we get the camshaft done uh, it'll uh, we'll start start full assembly right now nothing's Nothing's bolted down, but uh, we'll start that uh, when the uh, we get the cams done. Uh, I'm going to use a method uh, that uh, uses the mill in uh, my rotary uh, table in a center, and they uh, there's a table uh, that you can generate. Uh, that shows the distance that you move the end mill uh, each time to uh, cut the lobes. And it's got, uh, of course, uh, 360 points on it, so that's going to be time consuming, but uh, we should be able to get that done here in the next week or so. And after that, uh, it'll do assembly and uh, we'll see if it'll crank up. So, thanks. Okay, uh, another one thing I wanted to show is I had this uh, Mesa tool. Uh, it was a, a threading tool. Uh, it uses little inserts. And uh, I needed a real thin uh, grooving tool to do the valves, to do the, uh, the uh, place where the little e-clip goes or retainer and so I started looking at the inserts that I liked and I found that they uh, they fit this tool just very nicely I think these are Nicole and this one is uh, 51 thousandths of an inch and uh, I think that is the smallest one I could get from Enco. Thanks for watching and if you hadn't already please hit the uh, subscribe button.